Okay, so since I show video of Juan and other kitties I have been using, you know, trying to evaluate, here's Juan right here, hiding in the carrier. As you can see, he's not locked in. He can come out anytime he wants. He has the bunny hutch he can go into. He has Scratchy on top of Bunny Hutch. There's a bed behind it, a rug, nice little things. He can go in, he's got food. Let me open this. There's food, there's water. Yeah, the tray is hard to keep clean. That's from previous animals. The door is taped up so he doesn't get accidentally trapped in there goes into that nice little bunny hatch I miss my rabbits so but he's got Heidi's in there if anything scares him and there's underneath let me back away one litter box a bench that somebody threw away he just finished eating a secondary litter box another dish of food supplies Another scratching post, and I'm probably trying not to make you guys dizzy with watching this. Let me get out so you can see the whole thing. And here's the whole thing. It closes like that. So we have safety. Let me lock this. I have a lock up there so wild animals can't get in and hurt him. It's really a nice, originally it was dog run, but it makes a nice little cat habitat. Little plants. There is a nice galvanized roof, or corrugated roof rather, and it's lined with felt. And the felt goes down to make a nice shade on the back side, if you can tell that. And that is basically because there was a lot of drippage from early morning fog. And I didn't think the cats liked being dripped on. I know I didn't when I was going in in the mornings to check on them. And here's one edge of it. Little toy hanging from the top. I did have some other things hanging, but they weren't really doing too good but there's the habitat or the capitat whatever you want to call it and it's like four by eight feet so it's really pretty good there you go there's the little enclosure for feral cats